Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Exit, a Korean thriller comedy hybrid from 2019. Now I've heard some whispers on the internet, there's some whispers out there on the internet that claim this film to be one of the more entertaining movies of the year, and I would have to agree with that statement from uh, what I've seen so far this year. Now I went into this one without really seeing a trailer or reading a review of it, and it was a lot of fun watching it that way with like no knowledge of what was going on. Now if you prefer to do the same thing, you could stop the video right now and go watch it. I definitely recommend this. It is available on Amazon streaming in the United States. Then if you want, you could come back and see this review. I always avoid big spoilers in my reviews anyways, but it was pretty, uh, pretty fun watching this one completely blind. But in any case, what is this film about? Well, our main protagonist in this is a guy in his 30s who is unemployed and lives with his parents. One of his hobbies is climbing. You know, he'll, he'll take those courses where uh, it's indoors or maybe outdoors and you climb those like fake, those fake walls with like the, the crevices and stuff and try to climb up. So that's what he does in his free, free time and he's, you know, he's actually pretty good at it. He decides to seek out a girl that he was interested in. He met her in one of these like uh, uh, classes or courses on climbing. Uh, and he hasn't seen her for years. So he seeks her out and uh, things go from there. So that's kind of like the opening 20 minutes of the film. It's kind of like the, the character setups. Then the main conflict arrives. Some nutcase scientist releases a toxic fog that spreads and envelops the uh, like the city center, like a bunch of blocks right in the middle of the city. So the fog is like uh, pretty thick, and if you breathe it, if you inhale it, you risk death. So people start uh, going into buildings and climbing up like the stairs to get on higher levels, and people try to get to rooftops to signal for help, so helicopters can come by and pick them up. So. Most fortunately, our main protagonist, as well as his love interest, have experienced climbing. So they set off on kind of an urban adventure to climb tall buildings in an effort to escape this toxic fog, which like moves around and kind of, you know, it, it elevates and, and moves all over the place. So if you think about that premise for a minute, how many movies focus on like normal everyday people who are forced to climb or scale urban buildings for survival. There's really not that many out there. And those scenes in this film are, are actually very well done. One of the first climbing scenes is actually a pretty fantastic uh, sequence because the protagonist needs to climb like out of a window in a building and find a way to the roof, okay? Because there, there's locked doors. You can't get to the roof through a stairwell. So in order to do this though, it's pretty complicated, you know what I mean? He needs to use other buildings, like get to the other building and then go over and then come back to this building because you got to find like a, a path to climb. You can't just, you know, it's hard just to climb the side of a building without anything to hold on to. So you, it takes some strategy to kind of figure out, okay, where do I, which part of the building do I need to climb up and how do I get there, you know? So it's pretty interesting to watch. Another cool thing is that the characters are forced to use household items or tools that are just kind of lying around because no one expected to climb buildings that day. <laughs> you know what I mean? This toxic fog thing was pretty unexpected. So access to traditional climbing gear is somewhat limited. I mean, they do use, uh, they do use some ropes and stuff like that, but uh, they got to get uh, creative with how they use certain, certain things. I like that. After the first climbing sequence, which occurs during the first half of the film, it almost feels like there's nothing left to accomplish. But don't worry. Don't worry. Our protagonists are confronted with many obstacles that will put their climbing skills to the test. It's actually quite, quite amazing and hilarious how one locked door could cause so much difficulty for, uh, for our characters. Because sometimes it's tough to figure out a way around it, or you know what I mean? So... I found that to be a pretty uh, pretty funny aspect of the film. Another thing I liked is that this takes place mostly at night during the course of one evening. Uh, and that's pretty cool because this toxic fog kind of glows in the dark. 
So there are uh, there are a lot of shots, like aerial shots, where it'll look down on the protagonists as they're they're climbing something, and you'll see that toxic fog like glowing in the dark beneath them, which is a pretty cool visual, I thought. The scoring and music were good in this too, very suspenseful and, and like rhythmic, but it didn't feel generic. So whoever did the uh, the music in this did a good job. Uh, I thought this movie was quite funny as well. Again, it is kind of a, a half thriller comedy type film. It's mostly character based and situational. The parts where I laugh the most though are when our two lovebirds think they're about to be saved, uh, but something happens and they get screwed over and they got to keep climbing more. I thought those scenes were pretty funny in particular. There are there are a few moments. There are a few moments where the lead character does feel a little bit, just a little bit too whiny. Maybe just a little too whiny, but uh, those scenes are few and far between. Uh, by the end of the film, uh, you're actually rooting for these characters quite a bit. They have very good chemistry, and uh, that's that's also nice to have in a movie. The lead actor in this is Jung Suk Cho, who I actually recently talked about in my review of Hit and Run Squad. He played the bad guy in that movie. This role, though, is actually right up his alley, and it may be uh, one of the new highlights of his career, in my, in my opinion. I thought he was really good in this. Then you have Yoon Ah Im from the K-pop group Girls' Generation as the lead actress in this. Now you may consider this to be a warning sign. You know, anytime you get a singer to come into a movie, no matter which country you're talking about, could be a problem, but I liked her in this. She was good. She was very uh, charming, I guess I would say. I liked her character too. And she played off of Cho very well. So this is an example of a K-pop star who can, who can do well in a movie. Another example that just immediately comes off, off the top of my head is uh, Siwon Choi from Super Junior. I remember he was really hilarious in the K-drama King of Dramas. So if you want to see another uh, good performance by like a K-pop star, that's another one to check out. So I, I actually look forward to seeing this actress in more stuff. Her, her filmography is, is uh, actually quite lengthy. Not, not super lengthy, but she has been in, you know... Uh, maybe over a dozen things already in terms of films and TV, but I think a lot of those were supporting performances. I think this lead performance could propel her even uh, even more so in her acting career. So when all is said and done, I would say Exit is a very refreshing viewing experience because this doesn't feel, it just feels different from most movies out there. You know, it's not like a typical disaster movie at all which it could have been if it wanted to be, but thankfully it wasn't. And it's not like a typical suspense film or a comedy either. You know, it's, it's very charming, uh, very creative, and you'll remember this after you're done watching it. You know what I mean? It's, uh, after you're done watching this, it's, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll stick with you for a while. And it's a fun movie. You know what I mean? It's pretty breezy and entertaining to watch. So this is currently available on Amazon Streaming in the United States. I really enjoyed this one. Definitely check it out when you get a chance. And as always, I'll see you next time.